Okay, so I took a little bit break. I made another cup of coffee and I thought, you know what? I'm going to share my Dollarama haul with you. I just videoed a Dollar Tree haul. I posted that to the channel and now I thought I would film a quick Dollarama haul. So I actually went in with um, Girl Guides on in my mind because um, I wanted to, they have, I got this cute gnome with braids and she's wearing blue to go in the center of their little meetup. Now I was thinking I would make a campfire just to have a little fun with closing night. But with the campfire, of course, you don't want anything real or flammable or um, heavy so that they're breaking stuff. So I thought I would, and this is the reason why I, buy so, I bought so many of these socks. So there's um, one, two, three, four, I bought five pairs and I actually think I might keep one for myself. They're the comfy toes. They're $1.50 a piece. I do wish that I could have found them at Dollar Tree because I would have saved myself a little bit of money. However, I couldn't find this gray flat print here. And what I was thinking of doing was making stones. So um, I want everything to be stuffed, kind of like a plushy type of uh, campfire. So I was going to make the rocks for the campfire using the, the gray part here of the, of the toe. And I might not need as many rocks as I was kind of envisioning when I was at the store. So I might keep a pair of socks for myself, make eight little stuffed rocks. I bought... This vinyl here, it did have a wrap. I'm not sure. I think I took it up. I took it apart at the store bef before I went to buy it. I wanted to feel this. So this is a shelf liner. It's quite thick and it has this awesome wood print, wood grain print. So I was thinking I can actually go this way. Oh, it doesn't really have a lot of material, but maybe I can go back and buy another one if not. So I was thinking I would maybe make logs like this way I don't know I gotta figure this out but I wanted the print of the I want it to be stuffed with polyfill and I want the little stone and maybe I'll make two logs or maybe three logs and then crisscross them on top of the of the rocks and stuff to make a little log campfire and then I bought these from the Halloween section because I thought they would be fun as s'mores Sticks. they're pretty light so hopefully everything like this is not going to break on me with glass these will be the s'mores so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this in white and I might even wrap you know the Dollar Tree stuff that they have like this but it's a vinyl sticker shelf sticker I'm going to wrap that here to make this look like it's a wood stick that will be the big marshmallow and then there'll be two that go into it I don't know maybe this is silly of me but I wanted to have a little bit of something fun for them and then I bought this for them as well it's a blow and glow now I I'm not spending any money from the unit we sell cookies to make up for money I you know the girls we have do we went away for three days for camp they went high well I did too because the girls encouraged me to um, totally challenged myself we did treetop trekking so kind of like high ropes we did low ropes we did uh, scavenger hunts we did geocaching we did um, oh my gosh we did so many fun things for the three days that we were at the camp and so I never use a dollar from when I do this stuff it's all coming from me I do it with love for them I don't expect the unit to pay for any of this because I know it adds up really fast so I did buy this blow and glow little gerbil portable retro kerosene type lamp and the reason is they have their enrollment ceremony coming up and one of the girls came up with a lovely idea to have like the new brownies who just joined guides walk through the bridge and have uh, like an LED light that once they blow it out it kind of goes away oh my goodness I love the idea I'm walking through Dollarama guess what this does it says get that retro kerosene lamp feel without the fuel or the fire hazard look at this to turn the light on, switch the button to on and turn the front knob to the left. I don't have any batteries in here and it doesn't come with them, so I'm gonna have to do that. Using your mouth, blow directly into the hurricane lamp so it lights it up, and then to turn it off, just blow directly onto the lamp again. So I love it. No one has to even fiddle with anything. I can't wait to bring this into guys to show her because she came up with the idea and I was loving it. So I was gonna get like a little LED uh, light at 
the Dollar Tree. She was going to paint it and then it was, you know, she was going to take control of the, doing the whole blowout thing with the little guides once they move, the brownies and once they move into guides. Uh, once I found this, I'm, I think she's going to love it and I'll let her take responsibility for this to pass it to the first years and stuff. And I believe she's my, one of my third years. So I was so pumped to find that. Okay. That's all for girl guides. Like I went in, oh no, I went in for girl guides and I came out of course with a few things for me. Look at this guys. Isn't this amazing for $4? And I believe, sorry, I didn't list any of the prices. These were $2. I believe this is $1.50. And the socks were $1.50. And the glow lamp, I believe, was anywhere between $3 to $4. It wouldn't have been less. Oh, and I got some of these little village accessories for me. So they're $1.50. And they just go kind of with the whole village accessory theme that is happening at Dollar Tree. Okay, anyways, want to talk a little bit about this. This is an absolutely amazing find. It is called a pizza serving board. But of course, you can use it as a... Uh, a serving board for your cheeses your crackers it's really nice and big it does have the dip like as if it was a pizza board to go into the oven I wouldn't does this go in the oven I don't know I wouldn't put wood in my oven I don't think um, I've never tried putting wood in my oven no because I have all like stoneware and stuff so I think this is just no it's just a serving board it wouldn't go in the oven right so um, there's this but of course you can turn it into so many lovely DIY ideas you can wood burn this anyways I was pumped when I found it I probably should have bought more if I go back they'll be sold out I'm sure it's gonna be like the silver trays that I bought at Dollar a uh, Dollarama last time and then they all sold out I also bought this really cute little trumpet and I just thought it would be pretty to gift attached to a bottle of wine to maybe like the kids music teacher or a gift card or something Anytime I do like something that's like a gift card, I always like to attach, I don't know why, I always like to attach a little something to it. Then I bought these little Christmas clips for myself for crafting $1.25. They are freaking cute. It says Merry Xmas and they're just the cutest little white Christmas trees. I got some snow balls, styrofoam balls, $1.25 for this pack and it has eight, which was a lot bigger than the Dollar Tree packs and then $1.50 for this massive ball. Hoping I get to these DIYs sooner than later. Can you believe it? If I don't get crafting for Christmas now, things are just gonna go, time's just gonna go so fast. And then another major score after going to Michael's and seeing this at Dollarama, you will realize what a deal. This whole roll of, of this furry stuff is $4. And there's only, oh, let me see, there's three meters by 6.25 centimeters in. Uh, with but guys this is amazing if you're making you know, those little furry gnomes last year I made them with Dollar Tree uh, eyelash yarn because I couldn't find this stuff for I wasn't paying $15 plus $20 I think I might go I wasn't gonna pay it so I made my own with like 50 cents but this one is so cute and fuzzy so <laughs> I love it it's not a huge I mean no, you'll get a lot of gnomes out of this a lot of little but this makes a mess so now I'm gonna have to be doing some vacuuming oh it's going in my eyes okay so that creates a bit of dust I don't know if you guys see the speckles going everywhere but this is super cute or even for a tree if you have like a or trim um, if you have like a tree skirt that you're making with material and then you need you know the furry trim or a pillow and you want trim on your pillow this is fabulous and a great price. So anyways, that's my Dollarama haul. It was super quick in and out. I really was on a mission for the guides. Of course, came out with stuff for me, but that's the way it goes, right? The story goes that way. So until next time, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this and it helps you with your shopping and I will say goodbye.